Hey everybody, welcome to week three. We are in our final week of the starter series and so excited um, to be hearing how the relationships are being formed for you guys. And as always in our group's content, we'll start again with some icebreakers. Yeah. What is a region or a city or a country that you have always wanted to visit? And share with your group a little bit of why. If you had an entire day to yourself with no worries and no limitations, how would we see you spending your day? We're gonna spend some time in the beginning of today and start going through a few questions and get you used to what group's content will typically look like. We're gonna take a closer look at the story in Luke 5, where um, some friends uh, lower one of their friends who was injured or paralyzed down into a building. Take some time and read that. The scripture passage is below, and then we're gonna jump into some of the questions. First question is this, what do you guys notice about the friendship that they had with each other? What barriers did these guys go through to get their friend to Jesus? This model of friendship that we see in these guys is really something we want you guys as a group to be able to have. There's gonna be moments that there's people in your group who are going to be far from Jesus and are gonna need help getting back to him. And in a way, this is what this group is designed for you to do. Build close relationships with each other, hold each other accountable to become more and get closer to Jesus. Um, I'm excited in the way that you'll be able to do this together as a group. So now it's time to get your group talking. Go ahead and get out a stopwatch or even the timer on your phone. We'd like you to go around and have each person share the three minute story of your life. Some things you might wanna highlight might include accomplishments or anything that you might've overcome. When the three minutes is up, we'll go on to the next person. When you think about your life, how has faith played a role in it? Are there moments where you can look back now and see God moving in some way? So to recap our series, we spent the first week going over expectations and setting some goals as a group. Our second week, we spent some time playing and laughing together, enjoying each other's company. And this third week, we were able to learn a little bit more about each other by sharing our life stories. So now that we've gone through the series, what are you excited for, for this new group? And like we just talked about with exit ramps, if you're an existing group um, and you're like, you know, I, I just don't think this is the right fit for me anymore. It'll probably be awkward, but rip the band-aid off and say, hey guys, it's probably just not gonna work. Um, remain friends, that's, that's what church is all about. Sometimes it does get weird, but it's great. If you're a brand new group um, and you're like, I, I just don't think this is for me either. Really, the, the exit ramps are there for a reason. And if you're a new group or an existing group and you're like, yeah, we're game on, we've got new clear expectations, you're off to the races. Um, let's look a little bit closer at what content looks like. So there's a few different ways that you can find content. Um, there, it, it's online at foundrychurch.net under the groups tab. Um, also, one of the best ways to view content, and I, I strongly recommend you watching it in this way, is going to YouTube, going to our channel, and watching the group's content video. We do a recap of the message, and then we go through all the questions with a little bit more of an explanation. And there's always, uh, always a sneak peek for something or some hidden, hidden information that's gonna be coming out um, to you guys first through that group's content. So make sure you're watching that and you're staying engaged in that way. 
So now you've gone through the starter series, you're on your own, but not really. Please feel free to reach out anytime. We love hearing about updates and different ways that your group is succeeding. Feel free to email or text Matt or myself we would love to support you guys and encourage you and offer any assistance we can. We are here to serve you. Cannot wait for you guys to be off to the races here. Please, again, like you said, let us know if anything's going on. We'd love to be able to support you in any way that we can. So why don't we end tonight uh, going to God in prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and the time that we've been able to spend together. I thank you for groups and the way that we're able to connect with people um, who have our same mission and vision for who you are. I ask that we're able to challenge each other and hold each other accountable to continue to be transformed uh, more into the image of Christ. And God, I just ask that um, we're able to do that and just, just enjoy the time we have to spend together. In your name we pray. Amen.